Hey everybody, welcome to the 998 version of Night Witches. So we needed to restart, uh, which we knew we would have to do anyway. So um, I've rolled a couple times trying to get something that was close to what we had, but I haven't been able to do that, unfortunately. So I've just kind of left it where we are right now. We only have five mechs. Um, and if you watch the episode that's like episode 7.5, it's really kind of between these two episodes, you know that we lost the Wolfhound. So if we start off with five mechs, I'm okay with that because we did lose one. Fair enough. So let's go to the mech bay and have a look at what we have. Uh, I think it's a huge improvement over what we started with last time. And we've got, we start off with a Wolverine 7K. So let's look at this right now. And we're going to show you a few things that are different in this version, which if you play, you'll, you'll find out soon enough. So they did split the cockpit into three parts. So you have a sensors part, a cockpit part, and the FCS standard part, um, or the FCS part. Uh, so this is like zoom accuracy. Like it tells you here what it basically entails going in here, right? So targeting systems, things like that. Uh, the cockpit itself. Um, so I'm sure this is the spots, slots for things like um, injury resist and stuff like that. And then the sensors, obviously, is sensors and stuff like that. So. It does split it up. Now, um, before we get right into the episode, I'm going to go over the, everything first, a uh, few of the changes. So in with ammo here, you'll notice at the bottom in blue it says lift click on chance to hit during battle to swap ammo type. So now you can have multiple ammo types in your actual mech. So you can have dead fire ammo, you can have Artemis ammo, and you can switch back and forth between the two. So if you want to target somebody at long range, switch to Artemis. If you want to target someone for close range, switch to Deadfire. Whichever you have loaded in here will give you the choice to be able to choose that. Um, and from what I understand too, uh, the ammo is also specific to the weapon type. So I think things like Thunderbolt might have their own ammo now. Um, so it's dedicated to the specific weapon. Um, not sure 100% how that works, but apparently that's kind of what it how it works anyway. You notice the engine core is a lot smaller now, um, which is kind of good. Uh, it doesn't need to be huge if it's going to be the same size all the way down. It just saves space here at the bottom. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's kind of how that works. So that's, this is the Wolverine. Pair of SRM6s, uh, small, medium, and large pulse lasers. So this mech is definitely a step up. It's not very heat efficient, but it's definitely better than the uh, um, hell spawn that we had and then the hunchback we've got a standard hunchback I'm not going to go into this guy it's the AC 10 version of the hunchback with uh, three medium or four medium lasers and an AC 10 a couple tons of ammo so it's you know the average version we've also got a cicada here which is the uh, standard version of the cicada so it's got a pair of machine guns on a PPC and absolutely no armor hooray for that um, then we've got our assassin here so it's basically assassin uh, normal assassin uh, so, um, let's just go in here real quick and take a look. Uh, so the assassin has got a uh, voice cockpit which gives plus one initiative. Um, and, you know, LRM5, SRM2, medium laser. So it really is nothing special. we got the jump jets. Armor is horrible on the back and everything. I don't know why you would call it an assassin. But uh, this kind of plays into what we were talking about doing uh, with our lances and that's jumping behind enemies and, and shooting so um, you notice it's got the uh, SRM LK ammo here um, listen kill um, plus one accuracy short range missiles and stuff like that so um, yeah anyway we got that on this thing uh, we may end we may end up taking out the LRM 5 and the LRM ammo and upgrading the armor with that leaving the jump jets because we do want to be able to jump behind our enemies but the armor definitely needs to be upgraded on this guy uh, I'd like to say it's as bad as the the cicada but uh, that's not anywhere near true as the cicada same weight but you'll see the uh, like it is a fast mech um, but it's got a PPC on it and you'll notice here um, like 30 points, 50, like, it has nothing, really. Uh, it's a, it's just a walking coffin. So we're going to have to fix this. And really the only way to do it is to pull the machine guns and the PPC and refit it with something else. So let's have a look at the fire starter. It's the basic um, laser version of the fire starter with the large laser. 
Uh, so I'm not really impressed with this mech either. We got a large laser, two smalls, and two flamers, and a bunch of jump jets. The armor isn't too bad. Um, it's about the same as we had in the Wolfhound. The Wolfhound ate 80 points in each leg, but the torsos and that are about the same. So I'm thinking about stripping the jump jets off this, perhaps pulling the small and the two larges off, or the, sorry, the small, uh, two smalls and the one large laser off, and maybe bringing the PPC from the Cicada to here, uh, and then taking these guys over to the Cicada and adding armor to it. So I'm not 100% sure. We don't have any gear yet, right? So like it's really going to be working with what's on our mechs at the moment. Um, the one big fear I do have, though, is that our Wolverine has got an XL engine in it. And if we run into a problem and we lose a torso on this guy, it's, the mech's gone, right? So we've got to be careful of that. Um, use this guy in a proper uh, situation. We do have uh, the jump jets and the uh, um, partial wing system, which should help with cooling and jumping around and stuff. So um, the other thing too is maybe we pull out um, one of the SRM6s off this guy or something, I don't know, uh, just to save a bit of um, weight and, and add all that to armor. I'm not sure yet. Um, I don't think we need two tons of SRM6 ammo, but um, not, not at least to start. So we might just pull one ton of ammo out, I don't know. Uh, maybe the small pulse laser comes off for heat efficiency or something, I don't know. Maybe we move it over to the uh, Cicada or the Firestarter or something. but. We're going to get into that in a minute. Um, so let's have a look at the barracks real quick. So I did what I said I was going to do. I kept three yes, pilots uh, and ranked them up kind of accordingly as we had them before. These pilots will eventually disappear once we find replacements, uh, just the regular versions of pilots, uh, and they rank up a bit with the training module. So yeah, that's what we're going to do for there. And then Babi Yaga, we've ranked up and then we've added um, um, one more to get ace pilot because we had ace pilot and gunnery before uh, I definitely want to do a lot of shooting and moving I think in this one so move in fire fire move back that kind of thing um, a lot of hit and run tactics I think is probably the best way to run for th for uh, uh, this series at least for the first little bit anyway okay so navigation let's have a look at the star map and we'll see where we started off here we do need to move so we're gonna do that um, because we started off here at Luthien, which is a five skull planet. And before we were, I see the map is reset. We were over here. Um, yeah, a Miata right here. So that's 26 days away. We're gonna need time to rebuild and, and get our mech. So we're gonna jump back to Miata um, uh, and we're gonna start over there. Um, so we're at least at the same planet we started at last time. You know, trying to keep things as congruent as possible, I guess you could say. Um, with the exception of the max, I mean, we're kind of still at a little bit of a disadvantage. Um, anyway, we'll we'll talk about that in a minute. So let's go to engineering real quick. We got to do a couple things. So the first thing we have to do is upgrade our power system. So let's go ahead and purchase that. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go right to the mech bay, and then we're going to go and get. Um, the upgrade to the mech bay to get that working and then we'll go to the training module because uh, we don't have any pilots extra pilots yet to really benefit from this so we're going to save this till last uh, you will notice too that we do have a little bit more sea bills here uh, let's go to the settings real quick and i'll show you what i've done uh, i did start off with a few extra sea bills uh, just to get the um, kind of what we had before back i guess so if we go to difficulty um, starting off in Korea space Contract difficulty variance is one, is, uh, one, so it's like a half skull. So we'll be getting between half and one skull missions usually. Um, hopefully more half skull missions than we were getting before, because um, we we're definitely going to need those to start. Uh, eight mech parts for assembly. If this becomes really cumbersome, it was starting to become cumbersome the last time. Um, but if it becomes cumbersome, we may switch it to five. We'll just see how it goes. I, I want to try and go for eight still, um, but we may need to switch it to five to see what and just see what happens. Uh, 10,000 commander experience to start, advanced more, reg more is aware, running higher chance, pilots per system, I left at 5, let's just turn it up to, let's put it back at 6, for next time we reload it'll be at 6, that's fine. And then everything else was slow down here, starting money we did raise up 1, uh, from 250,000 to 321, so it's 700,000, uh, that's enough to get the, the uh, second mech bay up and running and things like that. Um, mech bay armor speed we put back down to normal and everything else we left the same. So it's really not that much different than it was before. Um, 
so let's then have a look at our max now we're going to do a couple things i think uh, the first thing i want to look at i think is the cicada so let's refit this guy this guy is basically death on two legs it's it's he's in a horrible position here um it's got lots of ballistic hard points if we can find a lot more machine guns it might be worth putting machine guns on here uh, it's got a ton of support points um, it, it's even got support points in the legs right so uh, if we find like a lot of a pods things like that we can uh, trick this guy out that kind of way um, we obviously don't have any arm actuators so turning this guy into a melee mech is you know really not the greatest but he is fast that's the one thing i will give him so um, we really need to look at what we're going to do with this guy. So the f well, that's 55 heat. Oh, it's 40 heat. Sorry. Um, so let's first go back. Let's have a look at the assassin and see if he can run machine guns. Not sure if the assassin has any ballistic points. It's got six. Okay, so that's good. We can move the machine guns into the assassin. I think. Let's have a look here. Okay, so we got ballistic in the arm, which is good once the arm armor is cranked up. So we'll put two machine guns in this arm. Um, I think we're going to pull the LRM-5 out. I want to leave the jump jets because I do want to jump around. Um, not like House of Pain jump around, but, you know, we need some jumping on this guy to be able to get behind the enemy. Um, so we'll take these out probably and add it will end up be adding a, like a ton of armor we may take a couple of jump jets out um but let's just leave that for now i just want to figure out what we've got to move where so the ppc from the cicada could go into the fire starter now if we did that let's start with the fire starter we'll start moving stuff in the fire starter so i don't want this guy to jump I don't think he needs to jump. If we're going to use him as a fire support mech, the jumping isn't going to be needed. Um, I wonder. We could use the flamers and the assassin. Let's pull the two flamers and let's pull the large laser from this guy. And we'll leave them like this for now. So let's just confirm this. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so Cicada, Cicada, let's have a look at the Cicada. And we're going to pull the PPC and the machine guns off this guy to start. Let's just start this way because I want to start on the Assassin. I think the Assassin we're going to get the most use out of earlier in the game. The fact that he's got arm actuators. Um, and it's got a lot of hard points. Thank you. All right, the assassin. Let's have a look at this guy now. This is the guy we really need to make sure is working well. If he's going to be our backstabber, um, maybe we pull the SRM2 out as well. It's because that's like three tons, right? No, it's two tons. Let's pull the LRM5. Um, and I want to put the jump jets in the legs. I think it's weird that they're in the torso. I guess the torso wise, it's probably better. I'm going to pull these two. And let's pull the SRM for now. We might put it back in, but we'll see here in a minute. So we got a medium laser. Um, so if we add the two machine guns, a ton of machine gun ammo. Let's do it this way. Um, And the flamers, we've only got la two laser points, so we'd have to lose. This could go in the cicada, though. Four tons, eh? We could put the SRM2 back in, leave it on this side. Well, I'm going to put it on this side. That's like seven days, right, so far. Um, hmm.
lacking a heck of a lot of punch. Like a ton of punch. And if we're lacking punch, we gotta go survivability. Two left. One, two. Actually, let's put it in the legs. That's where our ammo is. Let's run this way for now. Heat efficiency is ridiculously good. We got no punch. I mean, the other thing to do would be to. We could go with just two flamers. Damage is about the same. We'd have to lose a ton of armor though. Let's confer. Oh god, 21 days. Let's confirm it. Hopefully, we find some better gear coming up. Okay, the cicada. Let's refit this guy. Um. Man, we don't have a lot of stuff, right? If we had more gear, we could definitely do a lot more, but... Uh, we only got one laser point, really? Really? Okay, well, let's see what we can get for armor here. Actually, not bad. Okay, we got a little bit left here. That's not too bad. I mean, I know it's only got a large laser. Gonna need to find some machine guns or something. A lot of support points though, so we have to maybe we can get some support stuff for this guy. All right, back to the fire starter. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really happy with the last uh, mech loadouts we had, so it's not like we're losing or gaining anything here. Let's just put these guys in the CT. I want the flamers to hit more often. Put the flamers back in. Major heat problems. Um, sinking is only 30. It's like we'll fire the PPC at long range and then close and use everything else. We got one ton left over. It's not a whole lot, is it? Um, we could leave the smalls off. Actually, let's go back for a second. It's like 12 days too, right? Um, hunchback. Got the AC-10 on this guy. Wolverine's got the SRM-6s and pulse lasers. Um, this guy's got a small. Like, what's the heat efficiency on this guy? 39 heat, Alpha Strike is 58. This is 10, which is actually pretty good. I'm going to drop this guy and this guy down here. Um, we could pull a medium and a small laser off this guy. 
right? He's thinking he's 39. Like if we do this, we're, we were able to fire all these pretty much all the time. And then we can use these on the fire starter instead of the PPC. And we got a ton and a half of extra armor. So just so we can close. Protect that AC ammo. And then most likely just back armor, right? One, two, three. That's nine days just to, to pull stuff out and add armor. But I feel good about this one. Let's confirm this. I think the Wolverine will leave as is. Maybe we pull out the small pulse. Let's just have a look at it. Um, no, nah, I think we'll leave the small pulse, but we do need to move the ammo into the legs, I think. Shift those jump jets. We are going to leave the jump jets, I think, on this guy. Um, maybe we move a jump jet here and here. I think we're going to take out one ton of ammo. I mean, SRM ammo is on only 100. This would only give us about eight turns of SRM, continuous SRM fire, but I think that's probably fine. I mean, we're we're running hot as it is. The small pulse won't be running all the time. We can probably cycle the large pulse a couple of times. So I think that's probably fine with one ton. And then we'll add a bit of armor here. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Something like that, I think. That's probably good. And let's confirm this. We got I know it's a lot of days to get this going, but we're gonna have two Mac Bays up and running in 30 days, so we'll be okay, I think. Or 26 days. They'll be running at full operation. So let's have a look at the fire start. It's the last mech we need to fix. And then we'll reassign everybody. So you know, as I was saying before, and you know, starting MechWarrior, things really are starting Battletech, sorry, uh, in Rogue Tech. Um, things really haven't much changed. I thought I was going to have to redo my uh, um, sort of starting Battletech, but, or Rogue Tech, um, but it really, that video I think is still applicable. You really do need to analyze your, your starting loadouts. Uh, if you start with a one, even one higher extra C bills, it should be more than enough to get your second mech bay up and running at 100%. Um, and to move enough stuff around on your mechs where you're comfortable with the loadouts, the amount of armor it has, because um, really that's, I think, f more important than anything, right? So let's go put these flamers. I'm going to put the two small lasers in the CT. And I put the flamers in the arm for way better chances to hit. Now, do we have any more laser points? We don't. Just two tons left, which is more than enough for armor. No, seven tons left. Um, don't really have any more hard points. I mean, we could... Hmm. Do I want to just run it like this for now? It's way underweight. I think I will until we pick up some other stuff. This is going to be our alternate mech anyway. So let's confirm this. Just for now. We're going to put it right at the very end of the list. So let's do that. I'm hoping this episode speeds up a little bit when we jump planets. Um, so let's get... Wolverine in first, because it'll get done relatively quickly. Let's get the Hunchback second. No. we got to maximize our days here. So if we put the Assassin first, and then, uh, then the Wolverine. I think that's probably how we should do this. And then we'll reassess. 
Well, the Wolverine will be back though before 10 days are up, and so would the Hunchback. So let's go this route to start. Let's get the Hunchback back. And we're going to jump planets now, so uh, let's go to Star Map. We know where we're going. Going to go here. Miata, travel, set course. It's going to cost us 100000 but that's really nothing. Okay, so... Power conduits first. Hey boss. Thank you. And then we want to go to... Um, Second mech bay, 700,000 purchase. Okay, I'll get the team on it right away. So we're not going to have a lot of sea bills left in you know a month and a half or so when we get our uh, all of our mechs back. So the Wolverine should be done. Excellent. And then the Assassin is getting a lot of days taken off it. Yep, we know about flashpoints. Thank you. That work order is complete, boss. Excellent. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Getting athletic. Nice. And high spirits. Cool. Okay, let's keep going. Whoops. Shoot. Damn it all. Come on. Messed up there. Um, and we want to do. No, it's this one, I think. Yes. Second repair bay at 100%. Purchase. Continue. Okay, that's done in six days. Okay. So apparently the stores don't generally spawn until you've done the first mission, apparently, on the planet. But we'll check in a second. Uh, so we got two mech bays running at the same time now, so let's have a look. That's fine. 16 days, they'll both be back. So in the middle of the month, all of our mechs will be ready to go. So let's have a look at engineering. We want to get the training module. Let's get that purchased. And let's have a look in the hiring hall. Got to try and get our pilots back here. Okay, so... Uh, standing by. Standing by. 27,000. 36,000. These are dudes. We don't want dudes. All right, so... Um, let's see what the contracts are saying here. Um... So I guess we're rated at one skull. Let's refresh them. Okay, so there's a lot of half skulls here. Excellent. Beefed up security. Defend base. Assassinate. Recovery mission. Which I think probably will do. Target acquisition. Wolves. Defend base. Frontier justice. Assassinate. Yeah, so we're going to probably do uh, this one here today. Just to start it off. It's against Kurita, which I didn't really want, but we'll have to take that. Um, so let's make sure our mechs are back here. Actually, let's have a look at the store. I heard the store was... Oh, okay, it is populating. Chaff, Rocket Launcher 5. Paired Accuracy, cool. So there's a whole bunch of new stuff. MMLs. See, this might be better on the Wolverine than the uh, SRMs. Calm Suite Plus. Increased resolve action, gain per action. Plus one initiative. Uh, there's a whole... Oh, double heatsink kits in here. XL engines in here. Supercharger. Crazy stuff. LB5X slug. So it looks like, yeah, so they've got specific ammo for specific weapons now. So before you would just use AC2 or AC5 ammo, now they have the LBX ammo, particular to the weapon. Cool. Light machine gun. Incendiary. So this is just for light machine guns. 
Incendiary LMG ammo. Okay, cool. LRM half loads. All right, so a lot of interesting things going on here. We're not going to buy anything. This MML3 would be nice, I think. One and a half tons. That actually might work really well on the... Um, hmm. On the Assassin, rather than the SRM2. We took this and a half a ton of ammo. Uses MML ammo, and there's no MML ammo here. Let's, um, I'm going to buy this. Well, maybe we shouldn't. I want to buy it so badly. That would be half a ton of ammo, and the MML3 would be way better than the SRM2. But, um, yeah, we'll leave that for now. So let's go to the Argo here. All right, let's get our mechs back. Seven days. Yeah, see, we're already into financial reports, so 380000 a little more than what we were paying before. I think we were paying three sixty before, so it's not too bad. All right, so let's take that mission now. Contracts. And one man's art. So we know what this one is. It's picking up the guy and then getting his art. Um, we could get in and out. Let's negotiate this. We're going to go full salvage because we do need it. This should just cover our drop cost. We have enough for repairs, so we should be okay. Uh, the only thing I don't really like is the number of mechs we're facing, or the number of units we're facing, that is. So let's get uh, Apex, Spentia, and Ronin. Ronin seems like it would be good in an assassin, so let's do this. Oh, good. Um, how are we supposed to pick up his artwork, too? Oh, it's over here. Um, Standing by. Okay, don't want to stay in the water. Yeah, we got the lag still. Out. Oh, no. Okay, just didn't click click hard enough. I guess that was it. How far can we jump here? We can jump pretty good, so let's do that. Standing by. Hunchback's slow as ass, but... I'm really hoping that AC-10 ammo. So we can right-click on uh, the ammo here, or is it the damage? I guess we I guess we can't really do it because we've only got one uh, ammo type in there right now. Good to go. Keep our backstabbers together here. I don't see anything. Waiting for orders. Ten four. I wonder if it's two rounds of immunity. Sensor immunity. It's weird that I'm not picking anything up. Oh, here we go. So we have better sight range now, which is good. This guy's got a lot of lasers. Okay, we're picking up another guy up here. Stinger. Take a pot shot. Nice shooting. There's usually another guy over here. Okay, at least we can see these guys now. So much better wrecking mechs when you can see them. I love watching the explosions and stuff. Awaiting orders. It's like half of the fun. Oh. Well, hello there. Didn't think I'd be able to target this guy. I'm not going to take the 0.9% chance to hit. 
as tempting as it was. <laughs> Another stinger. I'm going to do this. I don't normally jump, but I want to see what it's going to be like. Apparently they've... Wow. Okay. Apparently they've... Re, um, lowered the uh, heat requirements for jumping. This guy's got a lot of lasers. Alright, let's hit him with a large pulse. Nice hit. Okay, I got a leg hit on him again. There's another guy back here. What's this guy? Flea. Okay. Um, let's do some sneaky breaky stuff. Um, let's leave the small pulse off. It's a lot of heat for the SRM6s. Let's go this route, see what happens. Okay. I like to say I was sorry, buddy, but I'm not really. Uh, so the assassin... I don't want to get too close to that... this guy. Wow, that's really bad chances to hit. Um, yeah. We don't need to fire. Let's get up here. And yeah, I know I'm running over rough terrain. <laughs> I do that a lot. Yeah, I know. It's another mech. Probably a panther. Who's just vanished. Waiting on you, Commander. 23. 34. 28. Let's move into here. You Commencing alpha strike. Eh. So our team's fast with the exception of the Hunchback. The so we're going to need to put longer range weapons on the Hunchback. So I'm thinking the PPC might be an option. But we'd have to pull the AC-20 off to do it. Let's get into here instead. On my way. Double time. Yeah, let's just take a shot. 10%. Never know. We got lots of ammo. Oh, we only missed by 1%. Okay, I'm finding this... I don't know what, it's just because we're fighting light mechs version is a little seems a little more balanced maybe it's not maybe it's just me but when we were playing before 997 version it just seems the enemies seem to hit an awful lot at half skull compared compared to us now granted I did have very inexperienced pilots but I also have got inexperienced pilots here too they're at the level we were when we ended so I gotta find pilots, by the way, that are gonna have. We gotta make give them the same names as everybody else. So let's get in. They're starting to clump up now. This guy's got. Pretty good chance to hit this guy. 
Like if we move into the woods here. Let's do that. All right. We got a fair bit of armor, so I'm not that worried. I think this guy's outside of the mineral field, that's why. Okay. Okay, someone coming in for melee. Sure, man. Bring it. Uh, you don't really want to be there, but that's fine. Um, we want to hit this guy in the back, or we want to go for the side where we've damaged. Probably the side where we've damaged, uh, because uh, we can probably take the leg, I think. Let's sweep that leg! Sweep the leg! Do we want to go with... I think we want to go with the medium pulse this time. Okay, torso and arm destroy. We didn't get the leg. Oh, yes we did. It's going down. Going down! Two wounds. Maybe the assassin can hit him with a machine gun next turn. And he's bugging out. See ya! Yeah, Panther. I think they probably have four of another three units back there. What can I do for you? It's probably a good it was probably a good idea on our part to go up this hill. Twenty percent, eh? Twenty. Twenty three. Why so low? Well, let's move into here. Every, out of everybody else's sight, sight range, so let's fire on this guy. We can stick close. Oh, 34%. Stick close to the hunchback. Got it. Nice shot. That's like two low percentage shots you've hit now. Standing by. I wish there was a weapon that was kind of between the medium laser and the large laser. Uh, a better chance to hit with the, uh, marginally better. Well, let's just go here. Moving to position. Shoot him. Let's see how you like this. Okay, two hits with the lasers. Torso gone. Target's taking a critical hit. The best part about those is the uh, when the pilot gets wounded, he loses initiative. That's what I like the most. Gives us a chance to go again. Uh, thanks for coming out, buddy. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, they got the flea. There's a panther over here. Is there anybody else back there? Doesn't seem like it. Huh. Minimal damage. Let's see if we can take out the... Uh, let's get stable by going back here. We want to go after the commando on the ground, I think. We we're trying to maximize salvage here. Gonna go, how much has he got left in the CT? I'd say probably about 35, 32, somewhere in there. If we go after his head... Let's leave the medium laser off and fire the rest. Guard a critical hit. Uh, he's pretty useless right now. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Oh, there's another guy over here. Another flea? Is that what it said? Yeah, another flea. I hear ya. Okay, we gotta, like, end these guys now. So let's do that. Still gonna go for the headshot. We may take his head clean off, but probably end up killing him. Firing everything I've got. 
Yeah. That's fine. He's gotta go. If you gotta go, you gotta go. Awaiting orders. Gotta hit the apex. What's the apex? Uh huh. Bad move, son. Do this. Maybe we can kill this stinger. How much can we dump into his backside? Let's dump all this into his back. There we go. Don't mind over getting close to overheating for that. Well worth it. This other one will go down next turn for sure. So we've got two guys down there's six left two fleas panther and a stinger and then two we haven't seen yet yes commander uh move here dump all this yes I'm really liking this these loadouts they're not doing a lot of damage um, Enemy eliminated. but with the SRMs like that's what we were hoping on doing with the uh, health spawn last time was putting SRMs instead of LRMs in just that the independent missiles doing eight damage each to a mech in the open uh, is really helping us out I think It hasn't been such a big deal in the past for me, but definitely in the newer versions of Rogue Tech, it's seeming like it's more of a big deal. Like, I never really had a big issue in the Cold Forge series, and I was running with um, just a lot of standard lasers and stuff. Yeah, we had a problem with the Phoenix Hawk, but for the most part, it wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, let's get into let's grab this bit of whatever this is look at that stop midair I'm not gonna be able to hold my position in midair dude if you want me to I can try but I run out of jet fuel real fast uh, leaving the SRMs. Oh, wow. Two SRMs on. And medium pulse on. So right there, you can tell. I mean, it's just a big difference, right? Volume is smaller. Caliber weapons are better. So I think we can lose the AC-10 for something better. Like a rack five, <laughs> something that's going to give us uh, good damage. Um, yeah, you should have seen some of the uh, rolls I got on some of the uh, uh, different starter units. One of them was like uh, ultra five, um, an ultra five hunchback. Uh, what else was there? One, I had three mechs with XL engines and, you know, end of steel and things like that. And I was like, you know, I got to get it to the point where it's going to be challenging enough, but not, like, ridiculously um, easy, I guess. This, I think, is probably the closest to the last layout in pilots that we had. I mean, it's obviously not the best layout, but... We'll deal with it as it is. Um, OK. 
could just stand here and shoot this guy. I think that's what we're gonna do. Give them everything I've got. Wow. Take you take what? You should have hit him with at least two of those. Okay, that's a mineral field. Let's get in there. Moving out. This should be good. Uh not so good. Catch you next time. Well, I hope. Comes that panther. At least he's moving in now. We can get after him. Don't know if there's... I don't think there's any other mechs back there. Let's just attack this guy. Go with the same thing. Well, we can throw the small pulse on as well too, I think. Because we're not jumping. Okay. Ouch! Minus 7 initiative dead! All right, we're just going to walk around over here. Better keep our back turned just in case there are more guys. Looks like this is it, though. Two lances of three. I'm here. Location confirmed. Yeah, I'm firing. Confirmed. Okay, nice. Don't know what we're going to choose out of this. Gotcha. I should probably choose stuff for the fire starter, I think. Why didn't that guy fire? Yes, Commander. Seems strange fire. to me that he wouldn't fire. I guess it could be because, uh... Engaging jump jets. Uh, it could be because the PPCs got recoil and needed to be recycled. Alright, let's go this route. This guy's got full armor. Oh, it's the A-lag version, okay. Hopefully finish this guy up. Order acknowledged. Still in the mineral field, but he's completely unstable, so. Engine destroyed, it said. That's it. Good night, sweet prince. Waiting on you, Commander. Oh. Try for the headshot. Take this. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess we got it. <laughs> sure. Commander. We're going to keep moving over this way just in case there's for some reason there's a mech stuck over here. I don't think there is, but there's been a few maps that mechs have seemed to got stuck on. Don't think that's a rogue tech thing, I think it's a battle tech thing. I'm liking how fast these mechs are too. I think that makes a big difference. I think a lot of our la uh, last missions that we did, or the last version of uh, rogue tech with our last um, Night Witch's Lance, the mechs just weren't speedy enough to generate full chevrons. Yeah, nothing left over here. Okay, our view distance is pretty good now, too. I think all the tweaks they've done, pretty nice. Okay, we're in. So let's just uh, 
race. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. There it is, folks. All right, with that successful first mission, we made even we even made 15 grand, which will probably go out in repairs. But um, yeah, I think we can probably go do one skull missions for sure. Um, definitely gonna have to look for pilots. Maybe we try the assassinate mission next episode. See how it goes. Um, pretty happy with that one. Let's see what we got component wise. We could take another. We could take a large laser. We could put that in the. Uh, fire starter that's a possibility we've got more machine guns this could go into well the engine cores too um srm4 i was thinking about these for the assassin maybe got lots of hard points in the assassin for ballistics heat sinks which i hope we get a few of and then regular srm ammo down here um We take medium lasers. I mean, we're bound to get mech parts, and I'm not really wanting to put any of these mechs together. If we get them, great. If we don't, not a big deal. I'm just looking for components that we can use right away. Now, the engine we can't, but that's still about a hundred and what forty-six thousand? No, one hundred and fifty-six thousand to sell. Hmm. Why am I tempted to take machine guns? We could lose the SRM too and put machine guns in. I think we're going to get more out of the mediums. Let's do that. Because I think we can replace the small lasers in the... Uh, fire started with the medium so we have more range so let's confirm this all right so we got a commando a flea and two panther parts not bad we got the all the medium lasers a small laser a hand and a couple heat sinks so that's pretty good i think we can finish up the uh, fire starter with what we have here okay thirteen thousand for repair so we actually <laughs> We actually made about 2,000 sea bills. Nice. All right, guys. So there's your episode of Night Witches. Uh, we're going to be um, getting our mechs repaired. Let's do this first. So these guys both finish in three days, and then our fire starters back in nine, hunchbacks back in five, or this one's back in 12, sorry. Um, we got both mech bays up and running at full speed, which is good. So this is going to save a lot of time. Uh, when we come back next time, we'll probably take that one skull um, assassinate mission just to see how that goes. And yeah, we'll have to find some pilots in the meantime. we got enough sea bills to last a little bit. Uh, I think it was probably wise taking that extra little bit of sea bills. It, I think it was like 700,000 more or something, so it wasn't really that much. But we would be down low on funds at this point, so it's probably good that we did that. It'll give us a little bit of buffer to start up again, to get some more gear into our um, our storage so that we can actually outfit our mechs a little better. All right. Okay, guys. So if you like it, drop a like. If you got any suggestions, please drop those in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you all later.